guys what is going on everybody welcome to the flight deck we are here on the ground in Ontario uh, just turn on to whiskey taxiway to approach the threshold of runway 26 left and uh, we're heading over on a red eye over to MCO so it's gonna be a long one and it's gonna be a uh, dark one pretty much all the way till we get over there so um, should be fun we got the takeoff config test good to go we're takeoff no blue and we're gonna be um, blasting on out of a rainy rainy Ontario hopefully for sunny sunny Florida so we will see but um, yeah let's spool them up 50 Toga. Manitoga SRS runway auto thrust blue. Positive ready to climb gears coming up. Heading. And looks like we're going to be a left turn. Let's just say they give us a left turn to the south. All right, lever climb. Thrust climb, open climb. Let's get terrain up because we had a little terrain scare on the way in here, so. Let's go ahead and go flaps clean. Speed check flaps clean. See that left turn to east zero nine zero. In the soup right now, outside temperature twenty, so we should be all right. And then on the east heading, we'll go direct something ball, T-ball, peeler maybe. So we might be... We're not on top. No, we're right back in it. Here comes that east heading. Rolling out the airplane, and we'll be direct. Uh, it's the one right after Peeler, I think. There. Oh, right, let's just go direct Avery. That works. Meatball. That was the waypoint. I think we gotta go direct Meatball, don't we? I think we do. Direct Meatball. Nav mode, open climb. We'll go ahead and click the autopilot on. And uh, we're going all the way up to our cruising altitude of 350 today. Flight level 350 on the cruising altitude. So that looks good. We're going to go and get the airplane cleaned up a little bit earlier. Get the lights off just so we don't have to be looking at that while we're in the clouds. Pretty sweet though. Definitely tell it's definitely tell where I am C. Alright, let's go ahead and uh, disarm the spoilers, flaps are up, ignition's norm, auto brakes off, and uh, we're good to go. So
And we're definitely going to leave the seatbelt signs on until we're sure that we're out of IMC. So for now, we're just hanging out direct meatball. Pretty sweet breakout there, not going to lie. Um, we are well on our way to Orlando, hopefully with some better weather for us. We're going to go ahead and flick off the terrain radar. And uh, we'll go ahead and let you guys room about the cabin. Um, all right, guys. Hope you enjoyed the climb out, and uh, we'll catch you down in Florida. is going on welcome back to the flight deck we are uh, ATC just gave us direct Hervey which is um, which is the intermediate fix on the ILS 17 left approach into Orlando Florida um, final approach fix is going to be a Colcas so we are uh, well on our way to being down on the ground in Orlando, so I hope you guys are enjoying this approach so far. It's been a beautiful flight, beautiful red eye. Rough on the eyes right now, but we'll be on the ground here soon. All right, we've got uh, glide slope and localizer capture coming up on our final approach fix. Go ahead and throw some speed brakes out, and uh, with along with flaps too, to help us slow this big bus down. <coughs> Hopefully, grease one down on the 17 left here. 2,500. We're going to go ahead and give the airspeed back. Let's go gear down. Ding dong the cabin. Go ahead and uh, arm the speed brakes. We'll go flaps three. And finally flaps full. All right, here we go. Let's check out the missed approach. Altitude is 3,000. Oh, there we go. All right, let's go ahead and disconnect the autopilot, the auto throttles, and fly this bad boy in.
That was a pretty nice touchdown, guys. It felt good. It felt all right. We'll see. Go reversers away, a man breaks, and probably hop off. Oh my! I should have looked at the freaking taxi diagram. We got like a eight years to taxi from here. All right, guys. Pretty solid flight. We're heading right back out to Denver after this um, but uh, in the meantime we got to figure out where we're parking and how to get there so I will see you guys at the gate after we figure all that out all right, everybody rolling into the gate here um, in Orlando we're gonna go ahead and flick off our okay not sure why we stopped there um, flick on the or flick off the taxi light sorry Glide on in. All right, we'll go ahead and set the parking brake. And we got the APU bleed on and everything there, so we'll go ahead and kill engines number one and two. Don't forget to submit the flight, continue with that, and we'll see if we can't get some deboarding. Oh, where are you? Oh boy. GPU requested, okay. And then let's just get the some boarding deboarding. Requested. Here he comes with the GPU. Let's go ahead and get the beacon light off. Backing up the GPU, very nice. I guess that's, that's connected enough. All right, let's go upstairs and connect the GPU, and we'll go ahead and kill the APU, and we can go ahead. The boarding starting. Just take a look at this view for now, I guess, and um, bring on over the uh, Simbit pilot interface. All right, we'll go ahead and submit that flight and uh, see how we did. See how that landing was, felt good. Flight's been submitted, and that should bring up our next flight, going on over to, back to Denver, MCO to Denver, gusting 32, so probably might not do that one today, I probably won't have time to do it today anyways, but that'll be interesting, 98%, we'd love to see that, probably just a pause top of descent we got wrong, yep. Negative two or three on the landing rate. Hmm. I guess I suck. Okay. So, anyways, guys, pretty fun stuff there. Uh, flight time, three hours and 42 minutes. Block time, just under four hours. Um, but, uh, yeah, guys, pretty good stuff. That was a fun one for sure. Very scenic flight. Like I said, we got everybody in here. Everybody's time to go take a nap now. But I uh, hope you guys all enjoyed, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. What is going on, everybody? Good evening slash early morning from uh, Orlando this uh, 
from Orlando today. And uh, today we got another red eye. It was a red eye coming in. It's a red eye going out. Just printing out the weather here. Let's take a look at it. Uh, we got 190 at 5. That's conducive for a southerly departure. We got 18 left plugged in. That's the closest one to us. Uh, broken real high, so not a concern. Temperature 17, altimeter 30, 13. It's a nice high pressure here on the ground in Florida at Orlando. It was a nice flight in um, with the 321, and uh, we're going to take the 321 right back out as well. Cali the Mountain Lion, that's the... Uh, that's what we're using tonight. So we're going to get into Denver early tomorrow morning um, and then continue on to Seattle from there. So interesting stuff. Love this type of flying, man. Super excited for this. And uh, we're going to keep getting loaded up and everything. Let's just take a look at some stuff here real quick. Um, like I said, we talked about the weather. It's not gusting crazy stuff anymore in Denver, 150 at 8. Um, it's cold. Uh, low pressure, actually I'm sorry, high pressure, sorry, and uh, that's about it, nothing too significant going on there in Denver, and then we make the three hour journey up to Seattle, the flight after this. Um, we're building some time, we've got right around 80 hours I think, let's see, 80, almost 90, there you go, so after this we'll have just about 90 because this flight is scheduled at three hours, 48 minutes of airtime, and 416 on the block so super uh excited for this flight tonight and uh, yet another one another uh red transcon red eye so frontiers got us flying the the tough stuff but um it should be it should be a fun one here tonight so we're just gonna keep going over the route keep getting the airplane ready for departure and uh, we'll see you guys when we're ready to rock and roll all right we've been cleared for takeoff off runway 18 left here in orlando and we are going to be on our way for Denver yet again. Denver yet again. Eighteen left on the ground. Let's go ahead and spool them up fifty as we turn. And Toga. Mantoga SRS Autothrust Blue. And V1 rotate. Pause it, ready climb gears coming up. Heading. Lever climb, two clicks back. We're going to take ATC, give us a turn right direct Red Sox. And flaps clean, speed check flaps clean, nav mode, open climb, 7000 blue. We're going to be looking for um, our cruising altitude here shortly, which we can see would be Optimum 355. So let's do uh, 350. Let's do 340 on the cruising altitude. Good climb and take flight level 340. Beautiful, beautiful morning here in Florida.
Alright, let's go let the Autopod take over. Alright guys, I hope you all enjoyed that climb out. That was a beautiful, beautiful climb out. Just lovely, lovely weather this time of year in Florida. And um, yeah, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed that. And we're going to catch you on the descent down into Denver. See you then. Good morning, beautiful people. We return at final approach here in Denver on the ILS 34 right. Um, real quickly, again, let's take a look at uh, let's take a look at what Gate Frontier would use. Um, we have glide slope capture and also localizer capture. We'll go ahead and give the speed back. They'd use gate alpha 30 in Denver. So let's see where that is. Oh, right. It's the A concourse. So 34 right. So we're going to be, eh, not a super long taxi today, but... Um, today's a big day, guys. I know that you know you'll be watching this in the future, and it'll be after we stream and everything. But today is the day that the um, IAE engines drop for. Uh, today's the day the IAE engines drop for Phoenix. So we want to get. I have not wanted to get a flight over with and start one so bad. Oh, oh no! I have to re-log in. I hope not. I cannot wait to get this flight over with so we can hop in the Phoenix and fly those IE engines, guys. This is going to be super exciting. So let's go ahead and go gear down. But um, in this case here, we got our beautiful A321neo coming down into Denver from MCO. Let's go ahead and give the cabin the ding dong. And uh, I also have RAM uh, on the way. So hopefully that helps out with some of this lag and stuff. Let's go ahead and go flaps full. Uh, we're ready to rock and roll. Let's grease this thing down here in Denver. Winds are calm. Um, variable at four knots right now. So we're going to leave the auto throttle on for this approach. Let it do its thing. 1,000. But yeah, hopefully the RAM helps uh, the performance on the computer a little bit, just not get so full, because I mean that's been definitely been an issue um, with Microsoft and streaming and recording and having all these different tabs open with Navigraph and everything. I think more RAM could help. I already have 16 gigs, but we'll see. <laughs> Hundred above. Minimum. Continue, get a little low. Fifty, forty, thirty, twenty, retard. Ah, too much. Ten. Five. Oh, wow. Okay. Second touchdown might have been a little bit better there. Holy smokes. 
versus the green spoilers. And reversers away, manual braking. And we're gonna make this first right turn here. Looks like it's gonna be Foxtrot 8. We will take the high speed here. Well, not very high speed ourselves, but. All right, let's go ahead and get the APU started. And pretty much a straight line, a straight shot down Foxtrot for our gate. All right, guys, let's go ahead and pick the flaps up. Speed brakes come down. All right, with that being done, we'll go ahead and catch you guys at the gate. All right, guys, pulling up to the gate. Alpha 30 here. Make our big right turn. Keep some power in so we don't stop like we always do. And uh, also, as we usually do, if you're blind in the grind, the ground crew. We got the AP running, so we'll go ahead and uh, shut that down or shut the engines off pretty much as soon as we get the brakes set. Go ahead and stop there. Set our brakes. Engines off. Remember to submit your flight. We'll do. Get rid of this. And uh, we'll go ahead and let the ground crew approach the aircraft and see if we can't get some. Whoa, we don't need a checklist. Let's get out of here with that. This parking is too small for your Just request the D boarding and uh, Frontier as the handler. We'll just take a look out here. Deboarding requested. All right, let's bring on over the interface. Submit the flight. Probably going to be a pretty rough score, if we're being honest. Um, I there was it was a sloppy climb out last night, and uh, cruise on the way back in. Or I'm sorry, cruise was all right, but the way in was a little bit rough too, if we're being honest. So, not a, a very pretty one, but. Uh, Nevertheless, we're going to take a look at things here. 98? There's just no way. There's no way. I did the whole cruise. I woke up in the morning because I had it going overnight, and the altimeter was still set from Florida by the time we were starting our descent into Denver. I forgot to set it to standard. So landing rate was negative 102. That was the second touchdown. Um, so not 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 really good there, but uh, block time 410 just under four hours of flight time So it was good stuff guys. All right That was a pretty quick debrief. I know but I am super pumped to get these this Phoenix block two going so um, With that being said guys hope you enjoyed. I think that was a full episode. I think those two flights so um, we will catch you on the next one hope you guys enjoyed and uh, we'll be heading up to the Pacific Northwest heading up to Seattle next so uh, we'll catch you guys then peace